All right guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've been on here. Obviously you guys will have no idea about that, but today's video is gonna be about arc fault protection. Now this particular breaker right here is a dual arc fault plus GFI. Now these things are being required just about everywhere, especially in the bedrooms. Uh, in my locale, now I'm not speaking for every single one of them, but my locality, we only are, we are only using them in bedrooms. Depends on where you are in the country and where you are in the city, state, wherever. A lot of places want the dual function. Now, lucky for me, in my locale, the bedrooms are only required to be arc fault. So having said that, this one is gonna be just arc fault plus the GFI protection. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to install this because it kind of looks kind of weird and it's super easy to do and you have to do it anyway, so you might as well stick around and learn. Also, make sure if my content has ever given you guys any value that you drop down and give me a like and a subscribe, and let's jump right into this video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to hook this up. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna explain to you what the little pigtail does. Uh, this panel is completely off. Uh, here's my cord up here. It is unplugged from the wall, so breaker's off on both ends. No chance of it even remotely firing up to shock us or whatever. So safety first, of course, like I always tell you guys. And also some exciting news real quick before we get started. If you guys are interested in, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions and I told you guys last year that for this upcoming year, I'm not gonna be answering in-depth questions anymore. If you guys are interested in like a burning question you need to know, uh, I will give you my advice. It'll be from the code and experience uh, if you want to join the Patreon, it's an easy way to get those answers, uh, or you can just donate to me and we can work something out. However, let's jump in here and talk about where all these wires and what happens here. So when you have a receptacle here, we're going to say this is in your bedroom wall or wherever, not here on this piece of wood here, but if you have a receptacle and you're running new circuits in your home, all right, so let's just say there's 15 more of them past, you know, down the line somewhere, all right, you have to in a bedroom, at least in my locality, like I said, you have to arc fault protect them. So what we're gonna do is we ran the circuit here. This will be the home run into the panel and we have a black, we have our white and we have our ground wire. Now, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you label this, you know, bedroom circuit or whatever, pantry or garage or what have you, all right? And you have to make sure that you keep the neutrals and the hots together. So you want them together like this, because this is the important part of it. Now, what's up with the pigtail? So what you need to do with the pigtail, now I'm not gonna cut this because this will be installed in my home when I redo a couple of my bedrooms, but I'm gonna show you what I like to do, and this is just preference. Now I would unroll this, like let's say I had a bunch of breakers in here and I don't wanna have, you don't wanna have all this pigtail in here, because first of all, if you have this in here like this, let's just say it's in here, all right, and you have all this coiled up and then it's, I mean, that's gonna look like poop on a white rag. So what you wanna do is unroll it. And let's say for this instance right here, what I would do is I would come straight across a little bit higher. Let me bring you in a little closer. All right, so what I would do, I'd form it right here and I would cut it just so it would go in this panel. So all you would have would be this loop right here and then right into the lug right there. All right, now, having said that, where does the rest of the wires go? So, after you would land this on your neutral bar, if you look closely in here, the breaker, you can see that there's a brass colored screw and also a silver screw. Now, the silver is always your neutral and the gold is always your hot, even on a receptacle. So, that's what you'd have to do, is you'd have to put your neutral right here from your wire that you're bringing from your receptacle or your light switch or whatever you're bringing it from. Your black would go on the gold screw. Now, I'm gonna hook this up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so you can see. I'm not gonna cut this because I don't want to, because like I said, I don't know where it's gonna go on my panel, because I'm only redoing a few circuits. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you. Now, if you don't know that, right here on the side, it says load power. Now we guys, now you guys know from GFI videos that I've done, if you don't know anything about the GFIs, check them right here in this corner, you guys will see, but load power. So right there it tells you, if you look here, load, it's right on the gold screw. All right, let's put this in the panel, and let me show you guys how it looks when you hook it up. Then we're also going to test it and make sure that it trips with the arc vault and the GFI together. So let's put it in there. All right, like I said, this panel's completely off. My breaker's off even, but it's completely off. Now I'm not gonna put this on. All right, so let's go ahead and 
put this on here. I'm gonna unroll it right now and leave it long, like I said. You can leave yours long if you'd like to. Just, you know, just kind of dress it up as best you can now for this video, obviously. All I'm going to do is just put it on there. All right, so we're gonna put the neutral from the breaker into the lug and we're gonna tighten it down. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take this neutral and we're going to put it into the breaker. Now I'm not gonna address these wires up because if you follow along with my videos, you guys will know that this panel is severely been used in quite a few of my videos and I don't wanna make these wires any shorter than I need to right now. So we'll just kinda of put it in there. So if you're gonna do this for real though, you definitely wanna make your wires look pretty because this is your panel for God's sakes. Same goes with the hot. We're gonna put it into the breaker. Now with these wires in here and they're not so pretty, we're gonna see if this breaker actually works and does what it's supposed to. I have a tester, which I'm going to show you. And when I show you guys, I will leave a link down below to Amazon where you guys can purchase it. If you're an electrician or if you're doing this, it's a wise investment for you to invest in high quality tools. So let me show you guys how this works. All right, so with the breaker back on, everything is hot. This whole panel is now energized. So we need to be careful. This is the tool I'm referring to right here. This is the uh, Klein. RT310, it does arc vault GFI, 30 milliamps, so on and so forth. It also tells you if the wiring is correct or not. This is a handy tool to have, even for a homeowner, because, I mean, it does so many things. And every home has these breakers, every home has GFIs, yada, yada, yada. It also tells you if something's wrong with your plug, you guys can diagnose it. So, when you first turn this breaker on, I hope, let me slide you a little closer here. You guys will see the breaker light up. Let's see if you see it. Yeah. It is ready to be tested. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to turn my unit on here. All right. So it says not energized right now. Open hot because there's nothing there. When you plug it in to your plug, it says correct wiring. So right now this panel's Wired correctly. There's a hot, present, neutral, present, and ground. It's correct. And it does say energize now. And it shows power also. So let me show you guys when I hit the GFI what happens to this breaker right here. All right. All right. Now there's no power. You see, not energized. Open hot. Okay. With the breaker fully on, we're going to use this tester here. We're going to plug it in. All right, it says correct wiring like I showed you. Energized, we're gonna trip it with the GFI first and it opens, not energized. And I don't know why this particular one does this. I've tried to mess with this many times, but as you see, it'll flip back and forth. And I don't know if it's just a bad thing, but both of my Klein testers do this. Depends on how you hold this. Watch, if I pull it down. Oh, now it's not gonna do it. But sometimes it'll show you, there it goes. Open ground, open neutral. But even though it does that, it is completely tripped all right so we'll turn it off we'll turn it back on all right we'll watch it change energize now we'll do the afci boom and it does the same thing shows the exact same thing it trips the breaker it still tells you that there's an open ground open neutral there's no power here believe me i don't know why this particular tester does this but anyway you see right there it's tripped and there's no power going here we can double check it with a meter but there's really no need to. I'm gonna use my monkey and I'm gonna show you guys that it is completely dead. All right, well, first I'm gonna show you guys that there's absolutely no power here first, because I do wanna show you that there's nothing here. And this is the problem I feel with these digital, see there's nothing there, but if I was to turn the breaker back on, we have the power and you can hear the, the beeping. So we'll trip it, no power, and yet it still shows well, it went off. And so this time open hot. I don't know why these digital readouts do this, but you've got to double check even these meters. And you see it says energized, non-energized. So this is one reason I do like this product because it does test your uh, arc faults and your GFIs. But this right here, this old plug tester, this is an RT210. 
No batteries required. You plug it in, it tells you if it's on or off. You know, you can't beat just plain and simple tools because, like I said, I like that tester, but you see for yourself what it does. Now, there may be a different model that, you know, tells something different, but you see here, there's no power. You know for a fact there's no power because it's showing you there's no power. So when you turn it back on, I don't know if you can see the lights or not, but they're on. If I was to turn it off, yeah, you can see them. All right, so it's good to have both. Now we'll do, like I said, the arc vault again, just to show you. And it shows you that it's energized, not energized. I don't, I don't know why. It's not a faulty meter, unfortunately. I've had a different one before, did the same thing. So I, it's just one of them fluke things. That is the gist of how to hook your arc vault GFI combos up. So it's super easy to do. You just gotta, wherever you run your home run to, you have to keep your hot and your neutral together. You don't put your neutral from your receptacles onto your, your lugs, you put them onto your breaker. All right, let's sum this video up real quick and close it. I was asked before, do I like arc vault breakers? And you know, at first I was like, no, because when we first had to start installing them years ago, sailing fans would trip them immediately. Uh, old, that's gonna tell my age, old answering machines with the tapes in it, I don't know why. Uh, I've heard that they trip them. Uh, a lot of different little items, uh, like fans, oscillating fans that you put on your desk, they would trip it. They're a lot better now and they don't do that. Uh, at least in my experience, they do not. So I think they're safe and they're good to use. And it's an awesome idea because if you have somebody, electrician, yourself, homeowner, whatever, stapling, you know, and you run that staple just a little too close and it pierces the wire, well, it's gonna sit there and arc and then eventually it's gonna catch your wood on fire behind your wall and your house is gonna go up. So it's a good idea to catch that because if you don't know, you don't know, and you could be sleeping, and then that's the end of it. So anyway, our fall breakers do save lives. You know, they are costly, unfortunately, but anyway, it is what it is. Guys, you see this hat I'm wearing? If you guys are hunters, I will be doing a video coming up. I don't. It may already be out, so if it is, look up in the corner here, and I'll be posting it right there for you to check it out. This company right here, not affiliated with them, but I did ask them if they would give me a discount code for a hunting blind. And they were so generous that I bought two and a hat. I think it's a good company. I think it's an excellent hunting blind. So if you guys are into hunting, definitely check that video if it's in the corner. Um, it will be in the corner no matter what eventually. So check it out. Uh, a lot of upcoming stuff, guys. If you have burning questions and you want to know some questions, join the Patreon. I've got Venmo, PayPal, all that. I can help you guys with your electrical questions, or if you just want some advice. If you guys found any value, definitely make sure you smash that like. Also guys, if you wanna see what happens next, make sure you subscribe. God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.